Hey guys, welcome back to a new video from my game tips. In this today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a data pack of your own for Minecraft. In my previous video, I showed you how to download a data pack, but let's create a new data pack now. A brand new data pack of your own with your own custom stuff and your fun in Minecraft can be enhanced greatly. So let's start the video without wasting any time. First of all, open up Visual Studio Code. I'll leave the link for this um, software download in the description. You can click that and download it. Now, this is the interface when you're gonna open it for new users who are downloading it for the first time. It will ask you to set up according to you. So set it up and you'll get an interface like this. Once you get an interface like this, you need to download some extensions. This, these four extensions will greatly help you while creating your data pack for the first time or every time. So I'll leave these links in the description too. You can click and download. Um, I recommend do not um, create a data pack without these four. So come to explorer section and it will ask you to open a folder. Now just minimize Visual Studio Code for a second and open up a new folder in your desktop and name it whatever you want. Let's name it tutorial. Okay. So now open up your Visual Studio Code and click this option open folder and it will ask you to direct it. So my folder is in desktop. So click it and select folder and there it is. Now let's start the fun part. You see, this option is to create a file inside a data pack, which is very important. And this is to, this is to create a new folder. Now, first create a new file and name it pack.mcmeta. You would get a curly bracket in yellow color symbol like this. So once you have opened it, you can either copy paste the code I have given the description for this um, file, or you can learn what I'm going to do. For to program this, start with an curly bracket and enter double quotes and type pack. Come out of the double quotes, colon, and now leave a space, another curly brackets. It should be in purple. Enter again, double quotes, pack underscore format. Come out of the double quotes, colon, leave a space. Now, Pack format differs for every version of Minecraft. For 1.19 to 19.2, it's 10. So I'm gonna type 10 and end comma. You would get an error like this. Don't worry about that. Come down and another double quotes and type description. This is where you are gonna explain a very little summary of your data pack. And after the double quotes, a colon, space, another double quotes, it would be in red color. And just type whatever it is. You can just leave it like this. Or so for the video, I'm gonna write to tutorial data pack. Yep, that's enough. The brain part of your data pack is done. Now let's create the body of your data pack where you're gonna add lots of content to it. And don't forget to save the file or else, as you know, it would not be there once you close it. Now, create a folder and name it data. In this folder, you're going to create two more folders. First one is your namespace folder where you are going to add your custom stuff apart from Minecraft, where you're going to add your own, your own creation for Minecraft. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it tutorial I'm sorry tutorial yep and inside the same data not a tutorial create another folder and name it minecraft now we have a minecraft folder to let the data pack know that it's in minecraft and a namespace folder for your own custom stuffs now, in your Minecraft folder, create two more folders. One is tags and inside your tags folder, create another folder named functions. 
inside your tutorial folder create another folder same as functions now it's done do not use caps it won't work it will show error now you have your tutorial namespace folder filled with function and your minecraft folder with functions you need to add something to your data pack it would work as a function inside your data pack now let's come to the namespace folder now so inside your namespace folder functions press a click it and create a new file and name it load.mc function And inside the same tutorial, I mean your namespace folder, create another file tick.mc function. Let it be there, I'll explain in a minute. Now come to your Minecraft folder inside your functions folder, create a file and name it load.json. And another file name it tick.json done it's done your data pack is done just a very very little bit of coding and it's done now you get an error like this don't worry about it is it is just showing that the json file is empty so in your load.json i want all of you to code this open brackets curly brackets and double quotes you see this pop-up this comes because because of my extensions i have downloaded so values you get a bracket like this enter another double quotes and you see you want to click this the tutorial this is your namespace folder because i have named it function as there is a load.mc function you're gonna get this so click it do not come out of the double quotes just a colon and it will ask you whether it is a load or tick you see one second in your real life world is 20 ticks in minecraft so time runs a little bit fast in minecraft world so for load.json i want all you to click load done and come down to tick it's the same process curly brackets enter double quotes values enter again open double quotes tutorial colon and tick done it's done now so leave it as it is come down to load.mc function load.mc function is where you're gonna give something to your player and information let's see um i'm gonna give the player whoever is downloading my data pack a little thanks message so title for all players at action bar let's see open double quotes and thanks for downloading my data pack that's it Oh, sorry yep so this gonna this is gonna come as a pop-up here right here in your minecraft world so load.mc function is done and come down to tick.mc function as I said already tick is a continuous action which just goes on goes on goes on like an infinite loop in your minecraft once you load it it's gonna just go on until you stop it so in tick uh, tick.mc function I'm gonna give the player and spell effect as it's very useful right so effect give to all players let's see speed boost for one second and amplifier two you see once the speed for one second ends it will come again like that I as I already sold it's an infinite loop it won't end that's it you have created your very 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 basic data pack for minecraft and i'll add another file let's see give.mc function 
you know when you are using cheats in your survival world you will type slash give function right to give yourself op stuff like diamond armor and diamond stuff everything in your starting first day itself like that i'm going to give the player whoever is downloading my data pack some gift so let's see give at all players and diamond axe let's see two diamond axe it's enough it's more than enough to play a day in minecraft now it's all done everything is done now in your file save all don't forget to save i'm actually warning you again and again now you have done it close it open up your minecraft launcher so now there we are in minecraft create a new world so um before creating a new world go into your data packs option open pack folder so there it is your world folder there is a tutorial data pack drag it in and close it open your minecraft it will be there click this arrow and it will go in right away done and it's in creative i want it in creative mode it's create a new world this data pack is an very 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 basic level data pack as i told there are lots of other options you can add to your data pack i'll make a video on that also soon and my upcoming video is going to be very fun i'm going to show you something very interesting that is on minecraft stay tuned to get that let's say the world has loaded now it should give me a spell effect there is it yeah told you you see the speed never ends it's an infinite loop okay now i should get an information that the data pack has been loaded it would only come if you just give a slash reload it would show see thanks for downloading my data pack okay now i want to get my axe here so slash function tutorial this is our namespace folder and we made it as an give.mc function right that is it tutorial give and enter there is it our diamond axe this is just a creative play this will also work in survival i don't think it would work in bedrock edition i didn't test it out i'll just inform you in my next video that it works so that is it thank you for watching my video i hope you understood if you have any doubts just leave a comment i'll definitely explain you thank you guys for watching my video make sure you subscribe this thing takes a lot of time to understand leave a like subscribe and do share see you later in my new interesting video